Stop it! Hello Hopkinton Middle School and welcome to our final HMS today for this year. As we always do, we have a lot of content today. And as always, we'll start with the middle school update. Take it away, Mrs. Grady. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. Today is Friday, May 26th, and it's a day 12. Although the year is winding down, the activities are not. We have a full week of exciting and fun opportunities for you to participate in. Tonight, we will be treated to the talent of many comedians at Comedy Night in our own auditorium. Tuesday, May 30th, marks the beginning of our ping pong tournament with the eighth graders. Wednesday, May 31st, is for the 7th graders, and Thursday, June 1st, is for the 6th graders. Make sure you sign up with a co-ed partner. It will be interesting to see whether students or faculty win the final round. On Tuesday, May 30th, we have our 8th grade concert. On Thursday, June 1st, the Daniel Elder Tea will be held. Also on Thursday, June 1st, the HPTA will be sponsoring Shakespeare Now for our 8th grade students. And now for a special announcement from Mrs. Camboris. I would like to present this year's awards for our yearbook design uh, winners. We have Shreya Ravi, uh, Eva DeJoya, Lauren Cho, Sneha Jaiswal and Erin Yinowen. They created the drawings for our yearbook cover for the 2016-2017 Hoffington Middle School yearbook. Congratulations to our winners. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Kim Boris. Congratulations, girls. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Be kind to each person you meet. Thanks, Mrs. Grady, Ms. Cambridge, Shreya, Eva, Lauren, Sneha, and Erin. That was awesome work. Now we turn our attention to our final segment of Hello Hopkinton Middle School, advice from high schoolers to us. In high school, you can really be friends with anyone, especially people in different grades, so there's less boundaries socially than middle school. Over the years, uh, some of your friends may get split up with, like, between different classes, um, but if you make the effort to hang out with them both in school and out of school, you should be fine. You can still be friends with the same people from middle school. We actually had one more of those, so we'll post it on our webpage. Go check it out. And coming up next, we have the triumphant finale of Mr. Rockwood and this famous Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that it, a regular slinky has over 80 feet of wire? Speaking of slinky, up to 1,000 rattlesnakes will gather together in the winter to sleep together through the winter. Isn't that amazing? Have a great weekend, enjoy your education, and always be kind to one another. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood, and we'll see you next year for FFF and WOTD. You can ask Mr. Rockwood about that second one. Now let's move on to question of the day. Today we're asking, what was your worst injury? When someone tried to give me a high five, and it accidentally hit my face. My worst injury was when I broke my foot. When I sprained my pinky, when I broke my arms three times in the every year. My worst injury is when I accidentally stabbed myself with a pencil. It is when I went to Sky Zone and I did like a couple connections, which is like backflips and stuff, and my growth plate broke and my bone showed out of my foot. A 30 pound weight fell on my foot and I got stitches. I was in the kindergarten art room in Connecticut and I hit my head on a metal shelf and got a concussion. I was at my grandmother's house and she thought she got all the splinter, big splinters out of her deck, um, but she didn't, and then I stepped on one, and it hurt really badly, and I couldn't walk on my foot for a couple months, probably. When I broke my nose, right there, because I fell down some stairs on a tricycle. When a cat scratched my lip entirely open. When I cut my knee open. I've had a couple of concussions that have been pretty bad. My worst injury was when I was in ninth grade and I broke my thumb playing pillow polo in PE. In high school, I was playing soccer. I went into a slide tackle without shin guards and broke my leg in 15 different places. Excellent, I think. Anyway, thanks everyone. Now we have a special collection announcement coming up from a local Girl Scout troop. Pay attention. 
We are second grade Girl Scout Troop 89242, and we are working on a project to so support African refugee children in Worcester. We need your help. The African Community Education Program told us what they need, and we are collecting items. We are collecting Walmart gift cards, packaged cookies, headphones, backpacks, and school supplies. Items can be new or gently used, and the target age is 10 to 18 years old. We are also collecting letters of welcome and acceptance for the refugees. They should be addressed to Dear Friend and not be sealed. Our collections start May 30th and end June 2nd. Collection bins will be at these spots around town. For more information about Afri African refugees, children in Mister, go to acechildren.org. And if you need any more motivation to help out the collection, just attach your email address to your donation before you put it in the box. We'll pick an email address at random, and that person will win a $20 gift card to Yogurt Beach. That's enough to take you, a friend, or us, out for a treat. And coming up next, the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everyone! Now it's time for Have You Seen This? And what a week we had there! 13 people got the answer. Congratulations! And in a strange turn of events, you can stop by the HMS Today studio after school to get your prize. Yeah, you all get one because we're cool that way. HYST will be back next season. That's it for this episode. Check us out online for our videos, and we'll leave you with some of our friends saying goodbye. See you next year! <laughs> You're supposed to wave! Goodbye, HMS. I don't know if I can bear it. Bye, HMS. Goodbye, HMS today. Wait, what do we say? Goodbye. Goodbye, HMS TV. Goodbye. Goodbye.